Over the last three years, I've built up a collection of tools that help you create YouTube automation success. With these tools, I'm able to upload over 300 videos per month across all of the channels I've got. Now, without these tools, I'll tell you that would be impossible. I'll give you the seven best purchases that you can make to elevate your success. These will be tools that you can start at the beginning of your journey, as well as the more advanced ones, once you start making a lot of money. The first best purchase that you can make is buying channel art from Fiverr. I've been there, I've been trying to create channel art myself, you try and figure out the dimensions, you try and crack Photoshop, you try to use some free tool and all of them don't work. Even if you get them to work, your designing skills are not so good and you end up with pretty shitty channel art. However, that is not even the main point. The main point is that you wanna value your time much more. Your time should be number one priority. So if you're gonna spend hours and hours trying to figure out how to make a simple channel art, which you've got no skills for, why not invest $20 on a channel art from Fiverr, which looks absolutely fantastic as you can see right there so that you have got that time left to spend on the stuff that actually matters which is growing your channel and you don't end up with a mediocre channel art anyway you can spend 20 euros you can go with the premium one spend 50 euros it doesn't matter just please make sure that you purchase it instead of spending all that time trying to do it yourself and ending up with mediocre channel art best purchase number two is buying canva now this is for the ones that want to do their thumbnails themselves if you don't have the budget to buy photoshop or any tools like that canva pro is a great tool I know a lot of people that do YouTube automation that still create their thumbnails with Canva and they get fantastic results. Canva Pro costs about $12 per month and it allows you to access the better features of the platform. Now here's what you can do with Canva. You can create high quality and good concept thumbnails you can edit your videos with Canva Pro, plus you get tons of templates that you can choose from. Now, even though not all of these can be great for each specific channel, for some of them, this will work wonders. Tool number three is ClickUp. Now, in order to make 300 videos per month, you definitely need some sort of structure in order to get that done. Now, I myself use ClickUp for this. I use the paid plan. So ClickUp is an online project management tool that you can use to streamline the process in any business. In our case, YouTube automation. It is great to keep track of the project to make sure that everyone does their specific job on a video and when videos are able to go live. I use it for scheduling, planning and anything else that is necessary in the business. For $9 per member per month, you get all of the best features of this tool. If you don't want to spend money on a project management tool, Trello is the one for you. Trello is the one I used to use back in the day. It's completely free and it allows you to do the same stuff, but then less advanced. So if you're just getting started and you don't want to spend money on a project management tool, try and set up a Trello workboard. The fourth purchase I made is Slack. Now I got to a point where I was working with a lot of different freelancers in different time zones, different jobs. So I got to a point where when I was using WhatsApp, they would start messaging me throughout the entire day. If it was 10 p.m., 11 p.m., I would still get messages from my freelancers about YouTube related stuff. Now that isn't necessarily a problem. However, if you try and wind down a bit and you're trying to get that good sleep, I don't recommend doing that. Now because of that, I decided to buy Slack so that I can add them in the Slack channel, have the best features and communicate through there. I now only have the Slack app on my phone as well as my PC, but on my phone, I've got the notifications turned off. So I'll only see work related stuff when I tune in there. Now this is optional, but like I said, if you want to prioritize your sleep, I do not recommend getting all of these text messages at 11 p.m. right before you go to bed, because then you're going to start thinking about these issues, how to solve them, blah, 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 which could be beneficial to your growth. However, once you get to a certain point, that is not worth it anymore. So that costs about $7 per month. Purchase number five, which is my favorite one, is Storyblocks. Now, when doing YouTube automation, you need great quality footage. A lot of people download these clips from YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. They basically try and gather a random bunch of clips, put it together, and then they think they've got a great video. However, they don't know Storyblock exists. Storyblocks is a software that costs about $30 per month. And on there, you can find quality footage, high quality footage about pretty much anything. Let's demonstrate that right now. Here's a clip from Dubai that you can find on Storyblocks. Here's a clip from the Maldives. Here's a clip from someone working on his laptop at the pool. Here's a guy using a camera. 
Here's a guy in a car on a racetrack. As you can see, you can find anything and it's all high quality that you can use for just 30 bucks per month. This will elevate the quality of your YouTube channel at an insane level. This is genuinely the best purchase that you can make in my opinion. However, that doesn't take away from the sixth one, which is vidIQ. vidIQ helps you acquire the tools and knowledge that you need to grow your YouTube channel much faster. What I like the most about vidIQ is their competitor feature. If you sign into vidIQ, you can see exactly which videos from your competitors, which you can add manually yourself in a list, are currently getting the most views per hour or in general. Meaning, you can see what's working for them, you can take that, improve it, and then upload an even better video. Now, the prices depend on the plan that you're using. I'm pretty sure I've got the most expensive plan, which I ended up paying a couple hundred dollars per year for, if I'm not mistaken. And then last, but definitely not least, we've got TubeBuddy. Now, TubeBuddy is a competitor from vidIQ. However, you can use it for a different reason. On TubeBuddy, they've got A-B split testing for thumbnails. Now, this right there is a tool that YouTube must bring out themselves, but they don't. So TubeBuddy has it. What this means is that you can upload a thumbnail, then you can upload another one and track the performance of those thumbnails. Let's say that thumbnail A is getting a 5% click-through rate. You then test thumbnail B and is getting an 8% click-through rate. You then know that from now on, you should use thumbnail B. Then from that moment on, you can turn thumbnail B into thumbnail A, and then you can test another one. You can basically continue to keep testing thumbnails until you find one that is very stable and continues to get the highest CTR on your videos so that you can optimize it for success. Hopefully YouTube will come out with that feature themselves, but we're not sure yet. If you wanna find out how much money I made with one of my YouTube channels by using all of these tools, click this video right here. I uploaded 2,540 videos and this is how much I made.